It's early on a Tuesday morning. Richard Rodell makes his walk three times a week. He's done it for the past two years. He was 26 when he was told his kidneys had started failing. He had to go on dialysis, but he was one of the lucky ones. Rodell got a kidney transplant from a generous aunt. It did run for eight years, just about. So, yeah, it was a good run. Transplants don't last forever. So a couple of years ago, when the transplant started failing, the 43-year-old had to go back on dialysis. He's on a waiting list for another transplant. I'll do my run and go home, have a little snack, and sleep for the rest of the afternoon until i got to pick my son up from daycare. And then on my days off, uh, it's, I don't know, there's just no energy. It's not, it works, it keeps you going, but not, it's not ideal. It's a long, time-consuming process that takes everything out of him. It's three times a week, 40 minutes of hookup, four hours on the machine, and then time to get unhooked. I try not to get down on myself like that because I know it become really self-destructive. So I, I put a smile on my face and try to, you know, so if you get down on it, it'll tear you up. The wait list to get a kidney in BC is longer than any other province. Right now, according to the BC Transplant Society, there are almost 300 people waiting to get a kidney transplant. When we look Canada-wide, well, we're not up to par with some of the other countries around the world, like Spain. There, instead of registering to be a donor, you already are a donor until you opt out. The Canadians, I thought, you know, people cared. And, and they do. You know, they ask people and they say, yeah, yeah, I'll donate for sure. But they just have to get that paperwork done and let their families know their wishes and, you know, That'll happen more often, hopefully. One thing that's been talked about is a national donor registry, which people in the know say will help boost the number of donors. I think so. Why not? And uh, I really feel that that's on our doorstep. It's bound to be because the need is growing. We save a lot of money putting people on transplants, right? Way more than, it's way cheaper than running on the machines. For the most part, there are two main ways to get a kidney, from a person who has died or a living donor. But recently, there's another way to get kidneys to people who need them. All across Canada, through the support of the Canadian Blood Services, people can, can be matched up with someone that can do a paired exchange. A paired exchange is when a family member might not match, but they might match another patient. And that patient has somebody that matches the other family. It's a crisscross. The deal is they bring the two families together and exchange kidneys. The average wait for a kidney donation is about six years. And if that holds true for Ordell, he could be waiting for another four years before he gets another kidney. If you're going to go into work, you might as well put a smile on your face and, and enjoy it and, you know, do a good job or quit, right? And just unfortunately, I, I can't quit dialysis. The options, you know, if I quit that, then you're going to die, right? So it's okay. There are about 5 million people in BC and only 800,000 are registered to donate organs. If you haven't registered yet, well, it's easy. You can go online or when you go to renew your license, pick up one of these forms and fill them out. And... I come in here and it's done. In signage, I'm Shetta Singh, your health and wellness specialist. Producing over 9,000 hours of local programming every year. This is Shaw TV, your local voice.